need some props? My word's too big, I gotta show you in pictures. Great, okay, here we go. When it comes to these decisions, the Constitution gives our president lots of power, and Steve Bannon is the key advisor. Okay? And our president will not be deterred. All the details, even the gum. She took on travel ban, alternative facts. There was her take. Sean Spicer took him a bit of time, but he did in fact respond. And Tashana has more on that. Heather, let's just say Sean Spicer, the White House press secretary, wasn't laughing as hard as everyone else was at that skit. Uh, he says that he was leaving church on Sunday and received a ton of text messages to his phone. He even it was alarmed, thought, thinking something had happened. And uh, everyone was asking him about his thoughts on that sketch. So he indeed, uh, he did indeed have a chance to see it. And he says, yeah, it was funny. But he did say that he thinks McCarthy needs to slow down on the gum chewing, uh, that she had way too many pieces in in there and he said that he felt she was a little too exaggerated so uh, here's a, a look back uh, his suggestion is that she needs to dial it back a bit but uh, take a look at her performance right here okay now let me wave something shiny in front of you monkeys I'll get back to you as you know President Trump announced his Supreme Court pick on the national TV Today, when he entered the room, the crowd greeted him with a standing ovation, which lasted a full 15 minutes. And you can check the tape on that. Everyone was smiling. Everyone was happy. <laughs> So uh, definitely a lot of fun there. And, uh, you know, Spicer did have a, a couple of comments as well because we know SNL has taken aim at Donald Trump many times. Uh, Alec Baldwin has been bringing that performance and he said that he feels that Alec has gone from being funny to mean, that he doesn't uh, find it too funny. Now, President Donald Trump, as we know, also been very, he's been very vocal uh, about how SNL has portrayed him, in particular Alec Baldwin. Uh, and this is just a scene from Saturday night. They're not slowing down, of course, because viewers are tuning into the show. Uh, we see the Grim Reaper there, who is supposed to actually be Steve Bannon. So uh, many staff members attacked uh, at this, uh, or, well, not attacked, but uh, made fun of in sketches on Saturday Night Live. So I think there's a lot more to come, and they're probably going to have to get used to seeing themselves on One Saturday would night. <laughs> Alec Baldwin's hosting this weekend, so who knows? Oh, yeah. And Rosie O'Donnell says she'd like to play Steve Bannon. We'll so, uh, as you say, tuning in. Thanks a lot to Shauna. Certainly, uh, you can say this about Sean Spicer. He keeps putting himself out there. Here he is dismissing a New York Times report that Donald Trump sits around in the White House at night because he's alone most of the time and watches television in a bathrobe. That was the original report. Now have a listen to the response and imagine the comedy potential here. There, there were just literally blatant factual errors um, and it's unacceptable to see that kind of reporting or so-called reporting. Um, that, that is literally the epitome of fake news. What was Part the of that story was the detail. Just, you t I mean, there, there were, you start at the top. I don't think the president owns a bathrobe. Definitely doesn't wear one. There was no meetings in conference. Definitely doesn't wear. If you, if you do a throwdown like that, social media, you know, is going to pick up the challenge. These are some images of Donald Trump in a bathrobe. You might find them in your feed this morning. We haven't seen anything with the POTUS monogram yet, though, we have to say.